Jump, jump, jump. Whoops! Now stop fooling around! Oh, I can't stand amateurs. What's with all the cameras, Swigloaf? I want pictures. Why? Does it bother you? Does it bother you? Does it bother you? Such a beautiful day. Why do we have to take a boring field trip? No kidding. Monument Island is so lame. How many times can we write about Ezekiel Greendale and how he saved his regiment from starving by feeding them Johnny Cakes? What is a Johnny Cake anyway? It's like a pancake, but they didn't have flour, so Ezekiel made them out of sawdust. Ew! Hurry, hurry! I got a spell on the burner back at home in dire need of Johnny Cakes! I don't get it, Newt. Sawdust, flour, a pinch of sugar... Why not make your own? You simply don't understand. The Monument Island Souvenir Johnny Cake is made with genuine Vermont Green Mountain Pine, a very rare, magically potent spell component, a spell doctor's secret weapon. So the secret's in the sawdust? Indubitably. Sure is pretty. Yeah, too bad they're going to make us write a paper on this trip. Kind of ruins the experience. I hear that. Just once I'd like to go on a field trip where we have no papers due, no grown-ups. And no responsibility. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no kidding, no responsibility. Yeah. 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 What? Ha. Lamprey face loser. Whoops. I have an idea that might make this day a little more magical. Uh-oh. I happen to remember a spell from one of Hilda's books. Or kind of remember. Double uh-oh. How would you feel if a freak windstorm blew us to Monument Island without Miss Luce or Captain Skipper? Bring on the storm! <laughs> Winds of fire, hurricane wrath, blaze quick and fast, our seaborne path. dirt sandwich which tastes suspiciously like johnny cake salem i am newt what are you guys doing here mm, i want a johnny cake gotta have johnny cake please salem take me to monument island and i'll create a magic loofah man to scratch your tummy well i hope you're happy because here we what aren't hmm where are we i cast a spell to blow us to sea isn't it great I assume you mean great in the sense of being absolutely horrible. Oh, don't be such a wet cat box, Salem. Look at the sand. Look at the sun. <laughs> hey! You 
monkeys are all right by me. I finally got a field trip with no parents, no homework, and no responsibility. So how do you plan to get us home? Easy. I got us here with magic. I'll just use a spell. Now, if you don't mind, it's time for me to enjoy my field trip. I bet there's not a Johnny Cake for miles. Obviously, it's again up to old Salem to be the level-headed one. Let's see if there's higher ground on this island. Maybe I can figure out where we are. Perhaps we'll stumble across some... If you say the J word again, I'm feeding you to a cockatoo. I'll be good. Forward, my little husky! Forward! Yeah, mule, yeah! I find this insulting on so many levels. <gasps> hey, I didn't say whoa! <gasps> Look! That is one bug-ugly statue. That's not just a statue, Salem. That's a magic totem. Dear me, no. I don't like the looks of this at all. Digging for ice. In the hot sun? Me and my monkey buddies want cold coconut milk. <laughs> what am I doing? Duh. Actually, right about now, some ice would be a fine idea. Copy that. Submarines, navy beans, chip beef, and rice. Bring me a big bag of cool, freezy ice. Like moss to the flame, like lambs to the slaughter, bring me a chunk of hard, frozen water. That's weird. My magic is on the fritz. Holy monkeys! We're in big trouble! What's the big deal? It's right here. What book is this? The big book of places magic won't work. Second edition. Of course. Salem, we're smack dab in the Bermuda Triangle. Magic won't work here. Why not? The Bermuda Triangle is the one place on Earth where the dimensional wall between the netherworld and Earth is thin. Ultra thin. Wowzers. Yeah, freaky chicken. Yeah. Land bird on my ear. Land bird. <laughs> it's not a land bird. It's a cockatrice. See? She's right here in the big book of magic creatures. Volume 3. I'm happy you came prepared, but I could use a little help here. That was a close one. It says here that the cockatrice's poison could drive you nuts. Hey, you're one lucky. Here's Salem. Gotta go. Oh, I have to warn Sabrina. I wonder if it gets cold here at night. I'll keep you warm, Harvey. Uh, did I say cold? Uh, I mean, whoa, it's uh, gonna be a hot one. <laughs> Come on, pay up. I know you got shells. Where are they? Ha! Try to hide this monkey wumpum from me? Gah! Maybe it's time to head home. We've been here all morning and everyone's getting hungry. Yeah, I guess you're right. Get everybody ready. I'll go zap up a little storm. <laughs> hmm. Come on, everyone! A storm's coming soon! Why do we want a storm? To blow us back to Greendale. Are you trying to make us believe that if we get on that rickety, torn-up boat, an improbable, if not impossible, flash storm will blow us right back to Greendale? Uh, yes? Hurrah! Now I'll be home in time for the Taffy Channel's new Taffyumentary, The Consistency Wars, 1929-35. to 35. Hmm. Bring on the storm. A kick in the keister, give to us a strong nor'easter. Um, give us some wind, please. I got everyone ready. What's going on? I don't know. My magic still isn't working. Magic isn't working? <laughs> of course it doesn't work. <laughs> you looking at me? Salem, what do you know? Why isn't it working? Foolish stripling. Can you not see the truth? This is important. We currently reside in the Bermuda Triangle, a place that takes what it wants, a place where no magic will save us. We're doomed. I tell you, doomed. <laughs> Are you feeling all right? Yes, fine. Why? <laughs> boing, boing. Bouncing cat! A bouncing cat am I! Now! What are we gonna do now? We got no storm, no food, and your cat has gone full goose bozo on us. We're never gonna get home. Yes, we will, but we'll have to do it ourselves. How? It's time to rally the troops. 
We've got a problem. It doesn't look like there's going to be a storm. Oh, no. We'll never get home. Oh, no. But how are we supposed to get back to Greenville? We got the ferry working. How about a ship can it be in? So it needs a little patchwork. Okay, a lot of patchworks. All right, we're sunk. What? You're all giving up? Oh, I wish we had our parents. Yeah! And teachers. Yeah! This morning, every one of us wanted a day without grown-ups or responsibility. Well, we got that, but now it's up to us. What do we do? We build our own boat and head for home. Who's with me? I'll work on the engine. <laughs> I'll work on the boat. And I'll go live with my monkey brethren in the jungle and become one with their primitive ways forever. Sabrina, want to come with me? I think I'll try the escape and return to civilization plan first. Huh, <laughs> suit yourself. <laughs> Harvey, I'm with you. Yeah! Then let's go build us a boat. glorious pinwheel of joy spinning with innocent delight how bravely you gleam with the bright refulgence of a thousand unkept promises <laughs> shining like a brass hippopotamus in the noonday sun <laughs> what's that you say my dear they're going to submerge you in the cold water fear not lovely i'll save you i will polish and worship your beautiful glow and we will rule this island together as king and propeller Oh dear, I'm feeling a bit winded. I'm afraid my slimy pseudopodia is not built for long distance running. At last! <laughs> my lovely, my precious spinneretta. I don't understand. The propeller was just here. Salem? Um, Sabrina, somehow I doubt your cat stole our propeller. I'll be right back. Salem's gone mad! He's got cockatrice zapper madness! He's gone crazy! Oh, no! Oh, and we're in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle where magic doesn't work properly. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, bother. In the grass again. Beautiful spinneretta. Salem! Yes. Yeah. Sing to me, O oh spinning jungle propeller queen. How are we ever going to get home? Okay, Jen, we're going to be fine here. No problem. It'll be tough, but I'll suffer through it. I'm heating up here. Palm leaf! All right, that jungle is too thick to walk in. We'd get lost for sure. We definitely have to take the river. But how can we be sure Salem will be near the river? Hey, oh, oh, Sabrina, can I talk to you for a sec? Let's keep this whole my cat stole the propeller thing to ourselves, okay? But it's true. You're scaring everyone. Deal. Okay, everyone. Let's saddle up and lock and load. Uh, bye bye We'll suffer here, but don't worry about us. All right. Control now. You, found me with a palm leaf. You, serve me coconut milk. And Greta, how about a little more lotion on my back? Yeah, I'm lotionize it up now. Um, 
Your cat made that? Pretty impressive training. Slugloaf, what are you doing here? Are all of these your monkeys? They're his followers, man. They come for him. I tell you, that cat's enlarged my mind. He's a poet warrior in the classic sense. Take me to him. Uh, I don't know if he'll like you that much. See, he's not so fond of visitors. Come on. I'm warning you! Are you guys all right? We're fine. Go stop him before he traps you too. It's our only way out. <laughs> Hello, Sabrina. I thought it might be you. <laughs> you will never get my propeller. She's mine. <laughs> I can pry this one open. Don't leave the cage, man. Those monkeys, they'll tickle you to ribbons on the feet. I thought they were your monkey brethren. They worship that cat, man. They think he's some kind of god. What's going to happen to us? I'm more worried about Sabrina. Slugloaf, you better think of some way to reconnect with those monkeys, or we'll never get off. Salem, it's me. Remember, you're my cat. You're my best friend. It's not gonna work. You want to separate us. It won't work. She is mine. If you could just remember who you are, everything will be all right. I've got all the power. I've got the monkeys. I've got the propeller. <laughs> I just swallowed a bug. <laughs> Got the cat in the bag. Let's go. Are you okay? Thank you, Harvey. How'd you get loose? The monkeys freed us. Sluglo found his connection. All the monkeys in the house go, yeah! <laughs> say yeah! I say woo, pop, hippie, pop, pop, hip, hip, pop! <laughs> he got the propeller. Yeah! Glad to hear it. Well, I certainly hope you ladies have learned a valuable life lesson from all this. Oh, yeah. I don't think I'll ever take a trip without my parents or teachers again. Here, here. Although, as long as I got my mojo <clears throat> working, how do you feel about a quick jaunt to Italy? Molto bene. Or Morocco. Sabrina! Nobody cares about poor old I.O. Newt. Just leave him behind. He's only a one-eyed Newt. Who needs him anyway? He just takes some space. I still didn't get my lousy Johnny Gang! <laughs> 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 Deke.